Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, follow, subscribe, share, do whatever it is your spirit is guiding you to do. If you are just being guided to watch, go ahead and do that as well. I want to show you my appreciation. Uh, so we have the King of Swords out here. So we have a King of Swords out here that may want to make some type of offer or proposal to someone. This could be in work. Maybe someone wants to work with you due to some type of clarity being given to this person. Someone sees you as being gifted. You might be new as something, uh, whatever it is, but this person wants to work with you. Someone is in competition with a King of Pentacles when it comes to working with you. So both of these masculines will have opportunities available for you because they are aware of some type of talent you may have. You could be someone that is great at multitasking, so you're multifaceted, and this is very uh, beautiful and uh, beneficial when it comes to business, right? Uh, so if you're someone that's innovative, always thinking of new ideas, you're like a money maker for people. So this King of Swords and this King of Pentacles may be wanting to work with you, so they're in some type of silent competition. Maybe it's silent to you, but not to them. I tell you the uh, two of cups is out here. So that does have to do something with business, right? While this King of Swords may want to give to you, there could be something going on with his stability from what I'm hearing. Or there's some type of hiccup this person is going through due to maybe actions they took against you in the past. Or there's just something that's going on with their finances. Someone may have fallen from grace or someone lost a lot of money due to the fact that this is just a page of cups offer a page of pentacles offer that they are giving you so this is not something um that is like a, a um a big deal but this is something if you nurture it it'll man manifest into something extremely beautiful this king of cups king of swords i don't know why the king of cups keep trying to come out so maybe the king of cups will pop out here later on but this king of swords is someone that is great at manifesting themselves so even though they may be going through some type of setback um this is someone that is a great manifester because they use their mental quite a lot as you know the king of swords are people that are very intellectual very intelligent very stern straightforward and things like that it's very hard for these type, types of people to be fooled and then we have the king of pentacles here that has a lot of business uh, um Let's say, uh, 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 what is what do I want to call it? This person has a lot of dreams when it comes to business that they want to manifest. And this person believes that they can manifest those with you. So this person may want to partner up with you to manifest some type of new reality with you when it comes to business. They know that they will have success with you. Someone sees you as extremely abundant and business savvy. And then we have the King of Wands coming out here. Gosh, Lord have mercy. What is going on here? Do you have like a lot of masculines that are interested in you, like working with you? It doesn't have to be romantical. It can just be business. Uh, we have a lot of pentacles out here and then cups and uh, a cup card. So one of these masculine either wants to be in a relationship with you and the other want to work with you. We have a king of wands out here that may want to come towards you and tell you their truth as well. Um, either about a queen of swords or this is the energy this person is seeing you in. Someone wants to come and talk to you, reveal some type of truth to you, but they're seeing you as the queen of swords. You have your sword pulled out to this person, possibly because they did something in the past um, that maybe disgusted you with them. Um, so they may be a little hesitant to approach you to bring this to your awareness, to your attention, but you have quite a lot of interest in you, okay? Someone is throwing a fit behind the scenes. It could be this King of uh, Wands knowing that, you know, maybe he missed an opportunity with you because as you can see, we have this Two of Cups that came before him. So quite possibly, maybe you were supposed to partner up with this person, but they took some actions behind the scenes that ended up bringing an end to some type of contract between you and them. So this person maybe want to speak their truth to you, but then they cannot because they know that it effed up really bad um, in the universe verse maybe letting them know that they have to kind of uh let it go count their loss and move on um and this person is not happy about that they're throwing quite a fit behind the scene it's like 
It says like someone was, I just heard manipulation. Someone was manipulated by someone else or a family, a group, whatever this is. And they are realizing that they messed up really bad by choosing to go with other people's opinion or letting people influence their decision making. Um, and it has come back to bite them in the behind. Someone may be going through to like a high priestess or someone went to a high priestess that may not be genuine um this person may have told them a lie um about you someone i just heard like a high priestess gets paid to tell lies so like when people go to get readings from this person yeah when some when people go to get readings from this high priestess she's accepting bribery from other people to tell lies so if this uh, uh, King of Wands know like a group of people that uh, uh, um, refer him to this high priestess. Someone in that group may have paid this woman to tell a lie, right? About something about like a marriage. Maybe she lied and said that you were married. You were attached to something. You were into dark magic. You were someone who was into doing dark work and things of that nature. They may have said that you are someone that is unhinged someone mentally imbalanced, unstable, and things of that nature. Um, so maybe this person, when this high priestess told them that they decided not to move forward with you, but now they've had some type of change of heart and they want to now co um, collaborate with you, work with you, and things like that. Uh, there could be some type of divorce going on here as well with this king of wands. Maybe this person was married to someone for a long time. Uh, this person is coming from some type of background that is extremely traditional and they are stepping away from that because it's just not fulfilling um they could have gotten married for money and things like that but just know that there is a high priestess in here that has some type of mental block this is someone that is unhinged this is someone that will do any and everything for money right uh so this masculine could be divorcing this dark high priestess or cutting his connections with this person because he knows that they're not genuine and they want to come back towards you it's like someone wants to bring balance into a connection with you they're seeing you as someone very genuine so they may want to give some type of genuine offer to you it's quite a lot going on here my goodness all of these masks feelings and your intentions for you you have a big decision to make from what i just heard we just had three cards come out we have the two of wands out here the knight of swords coming out followed by the magician so we have quite a lot of energies out here someone is seeing you in your authentic energy someone someone may want to work with you give you some type of opportunity that's going to put you in the public eye that could have been like an opportunity that was blocked for you but something more beautiful is coming along with you there uh you can uh, uh, um what what is the word i want to use have hope basically right um you have a brand new path that's been opened up for you by spirit so you didn't really lose anything um your your path is your pathway is clear clear basically you are someone very innovative with this two of wands being out here so the opportunities that are meant for you will always make their way for you someone is advocating for you behind the scenes someone is going to make sure that a specific opportunity is given to you because they know that you are worthy of this opportunity. Someone may, may have made like a really horrible decision by giving an opportunity to another person in the past and things didn't go like they expected it to, but now they're realizing that that opportunity was meant for you. So someone may be coming in to advocate for you behind the scenes and things like that in order to help you move forward, support your work um, because they see that you are the truth, you are genuine, you are calm, you are someone that's very hard working someone is seeing you as gifted as well someone may be coming in as well to talk to you about some type of work that was being done behind the scenes to interfere with your work people do magic behind the scenes apparently in this uh story yeah there was some type of magic being done behind the scenes to interfere with your work but just also know that your work is protected you are in charge of your path so whatever it is that you are working on it is going to move forward there's nothing anyone can do to block your forward movement someone is seeing you as extremely business savvy and they love this about you someone sees you as gifted as well there this king of pentacles this is someone that you may be around 
or this is someone that knows knows you quite well or they feel like they know you they feel like you two connect on a spiritual level this is someone that has the spirit of discernment so they're very much in the know about who you are what you bring to the table what they are going to be able to build with you someone admires your work someone may know more about you than you think they know or you are aware of and this is going to be brought to your attention so just keep that in mind someone knows that you are working really hard you are out here learning improving yourself and things like that just know that these masculines every single one of them are watching you in some way shape or form they're keeping track of you so this is not something where it is that you are up into yonder no one knows where you are all of these masculines know exactly where you are and when the time comes for them to approach you and give you the offers that they want to give you they will be giving you that there was some thing with this king of wands he was supposed to give you something in the past um he did not or this person actually what i'm hearing is that this person is no longer accepting donations to cause you some type of burden okay there was something in the past where people were accepting briberies and things like that from another character to cause you some type of burden endings bringing endings to your work your forward movement and things like that and someone here is choosing not to do that anymore there could have been a queen of swords in the past that was paying people or bribing people to interfere with your forward movement and this is someone that thought that they were either better than you smarter than you or more worthy of an opportunity that was meant to be given to you and someone is refusing to accept donations or whatever it is that she costs it moving forward um so you can expect for your pathway to be a little bit more clearer someone is not as burdened as they used to be someone is over the nightmares and things like that they're garnering strength to come towards you because they do want to build with you someone is very pissed off at their family or at a couple for misleading them about you um this could be this could have been like a couple that presented themselves to be a holy christian religious things like that they presented themselves to be people that do the right thing but someone is finding out that this couple is uh one that is unhinged unorthodox is what i just heard um so they are a bit, a bit on the cuckoo side of things but someone is very much upset at a couple this couple is angry as well behind the scenes because they've done so much to block your forward movement but they are realizing that they cannot people are seeing them for who they are people are distancing themselves from this couple right um and it's really interesting what how things have kind of turned around you i don't think some of you realize how far either this couple or this family have gone to cause chaos in your life some of you these people could have been doing it for many many years for some of you it's maybe a few weeks a few months but these people have been paying people behind the scenes or just causing a lot of illusions to interfere with your forward movement they wanted your work to be blocked it's almost as though also what i heard for some of you is that there's a couple that is extremely religious is false right but they are bothered with the fact that you are someone who is spiritual right you may be gifted and things like that and that bothers them it makes them feel uncomfortable things of that nature so they've been doing things behind the work i mean behind the uh, 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 uh the scenes to interfere with your work someone wants someone wanted you working and working but never receiving the harvest of your labor never seeing the benefits of your hard work yeah people wanted to steal your harvest they wanted to block your forward movement right the fact that the hierophant is has this seven of swords under here should let you know how unhinged people are in this story in this uh this yeah in this story unhinged thievery bribery manipulation just a whole lot of underhanded things going on that people were not aware of but it's exposed you're still moving forward someone like someone's 
someone's uh, 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 deception is out in the open, is what I just heard. They cannot hide themselves anymore. Someone cannot block your work anymore, cannot block you anymore, and it's pissing them off. Someone invested quite a lot into this scheme. Someone uh, uh, invested a lot into being a trickster. It's like no matter what they've done, you've still been able to garner the strength to move forward. You are someone balanced. Someone may have lied and said that you were a thief, but people are seeing the truth that you are not. You're someone very calm, nurturing, giving, very charitable. You don't have any ulterior motives. Okay, we have the temperance out here right after the strength card so you are someone that's being you are being told by spirit to stay calm you are protected right whatever you are investing your time and energy in your pathway all of that is protected and clear there are no blockages your pathway is clear for you so this has fallen out sideways i'm going to put this in the reverse okay i'm going to put this in the uh, uh, uh reverse okay someone is coming out of difficulty this could be you collective um you are coming out of difficulties whatever difficulties you were going through it was not self brought on i don't know how to put that on self-imposed this is something you are going through because of efforts by people behind the scenes but you're coming out of this and someone is pissed off about this because they know now your pathway is clear you can move forward they cannot block you anymore. You're about to be abundant in life. Someone one day you living in poverty for a long time. Also, someone in here is not going to be recovering from something that they did. So someone could have acquired some type of illness. It could be mental, some type of loss, um, poverty, things like that. Someone could have lost their job and they won't be able to recover from this financial setback and things like that. This could be part of the reason why they are so pissed off that you get to move forward. Someone may have overindulged in things that they should not have. This is like someone taking money out of their bank account to go and pay other people to maybe bully, gang stalk you, block your forward movement, block your work, interfere with your life overall. And this has led to some type of ending for them. You, on the other hand, you are stepping into wish fulfillment, right? You're about to be living a good life. You have some type of abundance, maybe an inheritance that is coming to you. And this is something that people have been hiding from you in the past. Someone may even still want to come in to cause you some type of illusion. It's like someone wants you to choose the wrong path. Regardless of what people are going through in this scenario, other endings they are experiencing, you best believe there is someone in here, possibly a king of pentacles that is stern very much set on causing some type of illusion. There's some type of information as well that this person is hiding from people. It's that he does not want people to know the truth about a situation and this could have to do with your abundance. Uh, something about an ending they are going through. Someone is hiding some type of information here, but it will be found out. This is not something this person is going to be able to hide forever. Someone may be hiding it now. They are broke. Someone is hiding a letter as well. There's some type of information someone is hiding. They are hiding a letter that has to do with your abundance, your work. All right. There could be something where like an institution wants to work with you and this masculine may have been assigned to give you a letter, mail of a letter, something of that nature, and they refuse to do it. So they've been hiding it and pretending like they sent the information um, and that you are just not responding to the letter or something like that. But it's not that you are not responding. It's the fact that this person did not send that letter off. And that is why you haven't responded. Something in here is I just heard is that once you receive this letter and get a hold of what belongs to you, there's a masculine in here who is going to be experiencing some type of ending. So maybe that will explain why he does not want you to get a hold of that information. Someone is going through a lot of heartbreak because this letter is still going to make it to you. This information, whatever it is, this opportunity, this growth, you're still going to experience it and they are pissed off about that. Someone is going through a whole lot, a lot of endings, 
and this is self this is all self imposed and this is because this person came after you you didn't do anything to interfere with this person forward movement but someone is extremely intimidated by you someone sees you as a threat but you know the minute people start doing things behind the scenes to block your forward movement to bring her into competition you know you already beat them at their own game you already know you are better than them because if i was not better than you you wouldn't be putting in all of this effort to block my forward movement but someone is going through an ending um and they don't quite know how to handle this is what i just heard it's like someone could not handle what it is that they dished out so everything they are going through or are or is about to go through they cannot handle um and this is life changing i mean this is someone that's going from like the penthouse to maybe like a one bedroom apartment uh and this is like life changing someone may be going through a divorce for some of you yeah there's something here with legalities the police may be involved in here and someone is facing legal consequences for actions they took against you um and this is something this person is hoping to get out of but i don't see them getting out of this Someone is going to be facing legal consequences. You, on the other hand, there's something you're going to, there's some type of change that you are going to be going through, right? Um, is that something is going to be coming to an end for you while another thing is taking off? While you are celebrating something, right? And this is how spirit has it set up. So do not like get into some type of depression because something that you put a lot of energy in has to come to an end or you have to say goodbye to a company you've been working with or maybe a relationship or something like that, some type of connection. It's going to be okay. This is how spirit had it set up the whole time. Something will be coming to an end uh, in order for something new to begin. And you know that's the cycle of life as well. The way I just said it, you let us know that that's the cycle of life. Things come to an end just so other things can begin. Um, it's that cosmic web. Everything is connected, right? Uh, the cosmic egg. Um, there's always something new being birthed. There's always some type of new beginning taking place. But yes, things are taking off for you. So all of these endings people were trying to bring towards you, it didn't lead to anything. Someone is trapped in a toxic union. Someone, what I just heard is like, someone took some type of action that immediately trapped them. It immediately trapped them. This is something they were intending for you. It's like someone wanted to come in and cause you some type of ending whether in love life on a live view or something but the action that they took it immediately trapped them in something that they cannot get out of someone wanted to bring you an ending like just flat out end you and whatever rash action that they took it led them to being trapped in something they cannot get out of and they are miserable someone is trapped with a toxic family dynamic okay this king of wands could be going through some type of financial ending as well someone is experiencing a lot of endings we have the devil out here followed by the lovers that is so interesting Someone, someone in here is going through some type of transition. It's like they are coming out of a top. Yeah, okay. So whoever is going through this divorce is coming out of a toxic union. So on the surface, when you see this couple, or if you would have seen this couple, they would have appeared to be the ideal couple. But behind the scenes, this was a toxic union. A toxic collaboration, just something you would not want to be part of. But the two have been, two of them have been together for a long time. But this person is letting go. This is something that was like full of lust, additions, and things like that. And they're letting go of that. Someone wants to have fulfillment in life. My goodness. Yeah, someone wants to have victory in true love. Someone here is strategic though. Someone has some type of false sense of victory. There's an institution here that's going through some type of ending as well, is what I just heard. This is like some type of coat or clothing going through an ending. 
They've been operating behind the scenes for many, many years. They're going through an ending. This is an institution of thieves. They plan everything out. If they cannot control you, they plan things out. They put people in places, people in places, right, to make you look a certain way. This is how they control people, right? So they want people to see you in a specific light, which blocks opportunities for you. And after so many opportunities being re uh, uh, kept from you, you start to break down. Um, and then you end up going back to this institution to either ask for help or something like that. But these people are realizing that that's not how it's going to go with you because you're someone that's guided by the cosmos. You are in control of your own past. But this institution is, is coming to an end. There's a lot of characters in here that are going through some type of ending. Okay? Yeah. There's a king of cups in here that's trapped in some type of unhappy marriage as well. It's like these people's stories. Usually when you're doing a read, there's like a story with the start, the middle, the end. But it's like everyone in here wants their story to be told and we don't have enough time to tell their stories. But there is a king of cups in here that's trapped in some type of either marriage, collaboration, possibly with this institution. And he wants his story to be told as well. Someone wants to come towards you to have some type of victory with you. But this King of Cups trapped himself in something that he should not have partaken in. And he does not know how to get out of that. This person, yeah. The Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords out here. This person trapped themselves. They're going through some type of ending that is self-imposed because of actions they may have taken either against you or with this institution. It has led to an ending for this person. They may be wanting to reach out to you for help, but they cannot. Maybe someone is sending you emails or messages or something, but they have the wrong contact or someone is blocking this information from being uh, uh, from successfully making its way to you. But someone is going through an ending. However, it's not the end of the world. They will learn. This is a hard lesson that they are learning. It's what I just heard. This is this was a necessary lesson that they had to learn. When they come out of this, what I'm hearing is that they are going to have a mind of their own, right? It's what Spirit just said. Oh my goodness. You know, Spirit has its way of disciplining us. Yeah, so you are the queen of pentacles as well. This person betrayed you. This king of cups, they betray you. And that is why they're going through this ending. And maybe you're not even aware that this person betrayed you so heavily. Yeah, you are the queen of pentacles showing up as the star seed. So you were someone focused on your work, on your family, your nurturing, your kind, your down to earth. And this person decided to go up against you with this group of people. And now they are going through an ending. This is an ending they intended for you, someone. It's like there was either some type of plan to unalive you or to just bring happiness to an end for you, for forward movement to an end for you. And it did not go according to plan. You're still being seen as the truth. Someone I just heard is being hunted by the choices that they made, the actions they took against you, okay? So if you're someone, listen, this is what we have at the bottom of the deck, the five of wands. These people are fighting amongst themselves. They, they are fighting amongst themselves. I was going to say, if you are someone that went through some type of horrendous experience with a group of people, a couple of people, whatever it is, and you don't think that spirit took action on your behalf to bring balance into that situation, throw that out the door. These people are going through endings. You see, we have the death card out here. These people are trapped. We have the three of swords out here. It's a lot of illusions that were going on. Someone may even want to send you information about an illusion that has been going on. These people are going through sorrows, trying to walk around with a mask on their faces and things like that, and it's just not going on. I tell you, everyone in here is trying to tell me their story, but honey, we can we only have so much time. Someone just said, yeah, she got me trapped into this. It's her fault that I'm in this mess. I don't know who that is. That's, that could be a masculine that's saying that. But he's saying that someone got him trapped in something and now he can't get out. Someone said he can't stand this beat. 
I can't stand this bee. Are you talking about me or the per person that got you trapped, honey? I don't care who, what you uh, can stand or not if that has to do with me. I'm just telling the story. I'm just telling the story. It's a, I can, literally just looking at this prayer, I can hear their voices. Someone keeps saying, oh, man, I keep seeing someone rubbing their head. Someone's bald-headed. They keep rubbing their head and holding their head down. Like, they're just frustrated. They're angry. They're pissed off. Someone may be crying a lot. But for some of you, for, for some of you as well, I can see you star seeds. Like, I don't think you realize that the turn of events that are going on behind the scenes, you have some type of change that's coming towards you that's going to be very abundant. This is what these people have been blocking. But these people are going through endings. Someone say, I can't go to jail, man. Dang. Someone is going to jail. And I don't think these people realize that things were going to end this way. They didn't expect things to end this way. It's almost like a group of people coming together. And because they are in numbers, they were sure that things were going to go in their favor. <laughs> these people want to sail to calmer waters, but they were not. They have to serve their karma. Someone says, I just wish, I just want this to be over. It should have never started, sir. Man, you are showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles, the star, and the Empress, and the Fool. What in the world made these people think they could come up against you? It has to be delusion. You are having a brand new passionate beginning in life. These people thought they could block this. For, they could block your abundance. Someone wanted to sp steal your spiritual contract. Someone wanted to pretend to be you. Someone was pretending to be you, but they cannot pretend anymore. You're not around for them to copy you, or they just don't know what's going on with you, or they are exposed, so they cannot pretend anymore to be you. Honey, I'm going to put this deck down so that we can hear some of these voices of these people. Someone in the past has said, I'm the real empress. If you have to say you are the real empress, that lets us know you are not an empress because empresses do not announce themselves. They have no need to announce themselves, right? This king of swords is going through an ending. I'm telling you, this king of swords is going through an ending because the truth has been revealed. Someone forward movement, this king of swords forward movement is blocked. Something is blocked. And he's upset. This person is, I'm not going to say miserable, but they are depressed. Someone is going through a lot of depress, depression, disappointment. They feel betrayed is what I'm hearing. He feels betrayed. He could have been working with a feminine energy that turned on him. This could possibly be the one that's saying, man, she got me trapped in this. But the truth is being seen in this person. Oh my God. Someone is having to cut their losses. This person lost quite a lot. Stability, respect. This could even be like a PI, police officer, someone in law, someone with some type of authority. They've lost respect amongst their peers because of things that they partook in. Okay? You are showing up here as the page of pentacles. You are being advised to take action. You have some type of financial payout that's coming towards you, and it's going to put you in your Queen of Pentacles energy. So while you are sealing onto karma waters, these people are going through endings. There is a King of... I keep seeing two King of Pentacles. One wants to come in and cause you some type of illusion because they know you are the truth, but they don't want you having some type of opportunity. So they're doing things behind the scenes to block you, to cause illusions to other people. And then there's another King of Pentacles that does want to work with you, is genuinely interested in working with you. So the fact that I'm seeing the two of them has to mean something. Either way, you're still showing up here as the star sea. So you are someone who's truth. You are a blessing. 
You're about to have a lot of opportunities in business and things like that. Your work, someone sees you as extremely focused on work, hard working and things like that. So the fact that that's coming out means that people could have said something else in the past or people have been saying something else about you, but people are, uh, other people are starting to see the truth. Whoever this masculine is that you are supposed to work with, you're meant to work with, is seeing the truth. Your work is going to be taken off. Your abundance is insured. It is protected. You have a new uh, uh, partnership coming in. There's a new reality that's going to be manifested. There was supposed to be something here. You were supposed to have some type of new beginning with this person, this king, king of wands, but it's not happening. This person is going through some type of ending, spiritual death that is self-imposed because this is a people pleaser. This king of wands, He's a people pleaser, and that's why he's going through this ending. Someone may be out of money. Someone is out of money. Someone is a poor manager. Someone is very stingy with money. So there could have been someone that got in a relationship or partner up with this masculine, thinking that he was going to be giving them, lavishing them with money. But this is someone showing up as very stingy. Okay, he's bringing an end to some type of toxic union he has with someone else because he wants to reconnect with you or he's just tired of her. Lord have mercy, so many stories going on. You as the queen of swords, you're being told that you need to go to sleep at night. Go to sleep. Like you've been worrying a lot about stuff that you have no business worrying about and you're being told to go to sleep at night. Stop worrying. Like the truth has been revealed, whatever actions that are supposed to be taken will be taken. Things are moving in your favor. You're showing up here in a lot of beautiful energies. The Queen of Pentacles, the Star, the, the Empress, the Fool, the, uh, uh, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Pentacles is a very beautiful energy. You're someone extremely genuine, intuitive, spiritual, nurturing. Your lineage goes way back, is what I just heard. So you are well connected to the earth and the cosmos. Okay? Yeah, there's a whole family in here that's pissed off. And this is a toxic family. There's a toxic couple in here that keeps coming up. There's a toxic couple in here. They trap themselves in something. They may have trapped themselves with this institution. Something something about like a coat, a coven. Someone here does like deity worshiping. They have an altar, a voodoo doll. That's what I'm hearing. Someone stabs the voodoo doll. It's like they're supposed to be stabbing you, but they keep stabbing every day. You're still waking up. It's a whole lot of mess going on here. My goodness. Yes, someone or these group, this group of people are being sat down for good. For good. This high priestess. Mm. Her work is being blocked. Someone has lost their gift. A high priestess has lost their gift because they were abusing their gift. She's not receiving any financial payout. This is someone that's very lustful. So this could have been someone that was possibly sleeping with clients and things like that. Someone knew the truth about a twin connection, but she lied about it. It's like this masculine went to her to get the truth, but someone had paid her to lie. So she lied to this masculine about this twin flame connection. But this is someone very lustful. Someone that does not do the right thing. She's in it for the money. And then we have this institution that steals. They do bribery behind the scenes. They like to trap people because they themselves are trapped. It's just so much going on here. But I will see you in my next read. Thank you for watching as always. Goodbye for now, my darlings.